In 2019, I was here at York Mays Hall of Screaming to brave the screams and brave the mazes. After a long, hard 18 months for everyone around the world, events are back to full capacity here in 2021. Hello there, guys. Coaster Chal here, Doncaster Born, but built for theme parks. And I'm here at York Mays Hall of Scream 2021. Five mazes all returning for this year 2073, Cornish Cornival, The Singularity, The Flashpot, and Barnageddon 3D. Along with that, a brand new fire and light show, a brand new food marquee, loads of roaming entertainment. It's all going down this year. Hashtag Fireballs. Let's get inside the event and brave the fears for 2021. Let's go. Have you ever been to the circus before? I have, yes. You have? I, have. I can guarantee you it's nothing like this. Are you aware the clowns haven't been fed in 100 years? Yes, yes. I have no idea about it. Really? You'll soon find out. Oh, I'm glad to find out. Yes, please move along. Thank you. I'm afraid, but I'll let you know. Oh. Yeah, my goodness, mate. I'll let you know. Find anything. You can send mine. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my So ladies and gentlemen, we've already had a few different updates around here. Um, <laughs> um, so basically, there's no, oh my God, there's no pre-show this year because obviously COVID restrictions, etc. But what they have done is they've outstretched the entire event, literally in different parts of the um, like site. So it's not all indoors, it's like a couple out there and things out there and things like that. And I like that, I like how they stood to the restrictions. We have some twins down here. Look at that, there we go. Oh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> I think there's something in the mirror. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This event is amazing. It's actually what, it's one of the best Hallow Screams I've been to already. I've not even been amazed yet. The whole setting around this is absolutely. <laughs> Aaron. Aaron? Yes. What a horrible name for a horrible boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like your hair though. Thank you. That was my dolly. I made her, you see. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh. back again. I'm back again. How many years? Four, I think. You, you get ugly every don't time. Learn. <laughs> I love this event. All the every every year, I love this event. It gets better and better. Right, we'll try and get in our first maze as soon as we can. But I just, I love the landscape this year. Like I say, it's all expanded. It's all you know outstretched. I like that they've used the COVID restrictions wisely. They've outstretched the event in different places. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not stuck in just one marquee. It's outside and inside as well. So let's get inside our first maze and let's review it straight away. Let's do this. So we are in the first maze of the evening. It is Corny's Corn Evil. Oh, lovely. Oh my God. 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 That. Oh, oh my God. 
So that was the first maze, Cornish Cornival. Now it's very important to mention, if you haven't looked at the website already, uh, that masks must be worn in all the mazes. They're still sticking with the restrictions on the masks. So very good at York Maze Hall Scream to do that. Uh, but that was the first maze. That was one of the new ones back in 2019, uh, Cornish Cornival. Massive, massive improvement in that. I didn't think they could improve that maze any more than they already did, but a massive improvement in there. There was uh, some new acting going on. I won't tell you where to spoil, and I'm, I'm not going to spoil, I'm not going to tell you where the new actors are, but there was definitely a few new actors in that maze. Um, there's different disorientation effects, way. Um, but yeah, loads of disorientation effects, different illusions, optical uh, effects uh, that really disorientate. I think that's the first time I've been in a maze where I've been really uh, disorientated, and I felt like my arms a bit numb as well, probably from vlogging throughout the whole maze. But um, you get what I mean. Overall, uh, it was fantastic. It really, really is. Out of ten pumpkins, let's just say pumpkins because it's near Halloween. I'm going to give it a strong 7.5 pumpkins. I think it could have been a little bit stronger uh, for constructive criticism wise, but overall, I'd say they couldn't do much more than that with the restrictions they've got. Overall, very good maze. Let's get inside maze number two. So we are inside maze number two. Uh, this is 2073. This is the post Trump apocalypse maze. Scientists have made it. It's left the army to clean up all the mess. As you go through, remember the infected, they can hear you and they can smell you. So put in first. Go on, move it! We've just been given our instructions from the army. Move it! Yep, we've been given our instructions. <laughs> oh my god. So we've just been inside our second maze of the evening, which was 2073, the post-Trump apocalypse maze. And it was already my best maze that I've ever done out of all the events I've done in my life. And they've just topped it again this year. I mean, again, I won't tell you exactly where, but I can tell there was new theming items, new actors, new effects, new optical illusions, and a few changes to different scenes. I'm not sure whether that was there before, but there was definitely something going on with a bit of a vroom vroom chainsaw. I won't tell you where, I'll leave that up to you guys, but overall, oh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Again, I didn't think they could top the best maze that I've ever done, which was last uh, the last time that was here. But they've just gone and topped it again, and it's sort of upped its way into the charts. Second maze down, three mazes to go. Let's get inside our next one. So this is maze number three. This is the flash pot. This is the oldest maze here. Let's see what's changed inside this maze. It's been five years now, so let's see. Hello, my lovelies! How are we today? Good, thank you. Welcome. I've been waiting to see you forever. And I know my friends in there are dying to see you. I'm Mrs Dunnington and we make lots of pies. I know I've got none at the moment. I've got Peggy Shirley and Ed. That's where we need you guys. Carry on through if you dare. So that was maze number three, and that was the flash part. That was the big old slaughterhouse. I uh, said so the longest serving maze at here, this event. It's been going since 2016, and again, they've absolutely topped themselves on 2019. A much improved maze on the previous year that they did the event. Um, there was one particular element that I felt like needed a bit of work, and this is constructive criticism for the event. I feel like... You are sorry? DRFC. Yay! We all recognise you. <laughs> I'll come and say hello. hello. Doncaster Rovers. Whee! See you later, Go on, mate. Bit, Aaron. <laughs> um, Donny Rovers fan. I always love football, mate. Uh, but no, I think one part of the maze that I felt needed a bit of work as constructive criticism for this event is I felt like the final corridor, I think, needed just that little something. I think the last corridor felt a bit... I don't know, it felt a bit 
if in brutal terms, flat. I don't know what it was. I think it was just that narrow corridor at the end. I don't know if it needed like an extra actor or two, or like a, a smoke effect, like a jump scare or something like that, just to keep you going till the end. But for me, it just felt like it needed that little something at the end in that final passageway, just to give it that oomph at the end, just to give it that little jump scare at the end, whether it's a chainsaw or whatever. But the rest of it, I really liked. It seemed like there was a lot more theming items from the previous year. Um, I think the actors were, again, just outstanding. I can't rate them enough. Uh, but for me, I think it just needed that extra little final thing in the passage when the final passageway or corridor towards the end of the maze. Uh, I didn't give my 2073 rating before out of pumpkin, so I'm going to give that now. Uh, I'm going to give that 8 out of 10 pumpkins. I'm going to give this one 7 out of 10 pumpkins. I think 7 to fair score. It was still great, don't get me wrong, still great, but it needed that extra something at the end just to bump it up to an 8. Let's go to maze number four. Ah, good evening. I say that's a very bright light. Do you conjure that yourself, or is it just on like a little switch? I think it's magic. Oh, magic. you have a little rat on top of your thingy, your light box. What oh, it's uh, it's one of those fluffy mic things that picks up all the sound. Uh, hey, who's Mike? Yes. What's it called? Who is Mike? Oh, you Mike. You fluffy mic. Who's oh. Mike? I mean, Mike. he must be very small to fit on top of a camera. Yes, he must be a little, a little He's a miniature small. human being, yes. Oh, teeny, 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 tiny. Well. Yeah. Ah, oh, delightful. Well, good sir, would you like a tarot reading? Oh, okay. Okay, all I need you to do is wave your hand like this. Like this, wave it over there. Yes, yes, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Amazing, yeah, stop! Don't have that much time. <laughs> yes, yeah. the fool. <laughs> well, I, I didn't need to uh, consult the tarot deck to uh, figure that one out. <laughs> I can't talk to that. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> well, have a horrible evening. You too. Hi. Honestly, you need to get out of the background. You're in the background. He's got a proper camera. <laughs> The steam room. Oh my god, Jordan! Oh. Come here! <laughs> what is going on? That's why you have the person behind me. Just keep breathing, breathing, breathing. So I'm here with Eva from Yorvik Radio. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, thank you. I'm a little bit of a little bit on edge. I think that's to be expected. <laughs> Right. How many maze have you done there? We've just come out of the Singularity of both of us, which I will review uh, soon as possible. Um, the Singularity, how many other maze have you done? So that's the very smooth maze. Um, I think Michael will take a break before we go on to the next one. That will be
So I've just done my last two mazes here at your maze Hallow Scream. Uh, singularity first and then Barnegadden 3D. Now first of all the Singularity, a really good sci-fi disillusion maze, uh, really good you know, illusions again, really good effects, near miss elements, animatronics, the acting's been brilliant. I think that overall, again, that maze topped it up, so for pumpkins ratings I'm going to give that a good 7.5. Uh, for the last base, Bonagan 3D, I think one thing that sort of struck my eye about this constructive criticism is I feel like they don't need the 3D glasses anymore, and that's just my personal opinion. Other people enjoy the 3D. I personally enjoyed it, but I think that it would be much better without it now. So maybe if they uh, reinvent Barnegan next year, maybe Barnegan gets reinvented next year, who knows? But on that basis, the, the uh, maze was still fantastic, but I feel like the 3D glasses are just sort of tiring, in my opinion, a bit now. So. In pumpkin rates, I'm going to give that maze 7 out of 10. Overall, still great. Let's enjoy the rest of Hello Scream 2021. So I'm here with Alex Lally in the evening, guys. How are you doing? We're still awake. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. We're still alive! Yes! Oh, I'm losing yeah. my voice, but we've had a good time. <laughs> I mean, it's been such an amazing event there. What do you thought about the event? Terrifying. I'm sweaty. I'm losing my voice and I'm ready for bed. And I think that means 10 out of 10 has been brilliant. <laughs> What's been your favourite maze today? Ooh. 2073 yeah. is so good. There are yeah. so many elements to it. So many scares. I think that's probably my favourite. Yeah, it's my favourite as well. Alex, what about you? I'm going to join oh, yeah, all three yeah. of us. Yeah, same. Oh, wow, that's amazing. What have you thought about the other mazes? I mean, the other four mazes have been just as good, haven't they? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, I think um, the one where you're in a butcher's is absolutely terrifying as well. That one, the smells, the sounds, the problems. I think I need a moment as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was probably one of the best moments we've ever had. Um, but no, uh, what other mazes? Alex, what about you? Um, you know, I think for me, they're all so good, and it's the fact that every year they add a little bit of weakness and they change a little bit to all of them, and they just keep up in the game. It's incredible. Yeah, 100%. And finally, Pumpkin rating, 10 out of 10 for me, what have you got it? Um, um, can you go higher than 10 out of 10? I'm going 10 big fat juicy pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Alan? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Brilliant, thank you very much, guys. Cheers, yes. So we're coming to the end of our evening here at York Base Hall of Scream 2021. Five fantastic mazes all tonight. Uh, a couple of little constructive criticisms here and there, but it is the opening night. I'm sure they'll uh, straighten it all out. Overall, I've loved every second. Really loved every second. So good to see Alex and Ellie from Viking FM Breakfast Show. So good to see uh, Jorvik Radio here today. Kane Dingle's here today. It's all been amazing. All been absolutely fantastic. That is going to be it from this vlog, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,600 subscribers and a million views. So please, let's get there as soon as possible. Also, guys, check out the other social media links in the description down below. The Google Forms link where you, behind the camera, can submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep them the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a hello-tastic day.